Die Globalisierungsfall, der Angriff auf Demokratie und Wohlstand is a 1996 non-fiction book by Hans Peter Martin born 1957 in Bregenz, Austria, and Harold Schumann born 1957 in Kassel, Germany, that describes possible implications of current trends in globalisation. It was published in English as The Global Trap, Globalisation and the Assault on Democracy and Prosperity in 1997. At this time, both authors were editors of the news magazine Der Spiegel. From 1999 to 2014, Hans Peter Martin, who is stated in the book to be one of just three journalists to be allowed to take part in all activities at the Fairmont Convention, was a member of the European Parliament. The book was a bestseller in the author's native Austria and Germany and went on to be a worldwide bestseller with over 800,000 copies sold and translated into 27 languages. In particular, the book is known for defining a possible 2080th society. In this possible society of the 21st century, 20% of the working age population will be enough to keep the world economy going. The other 80% live on some form of welfare and are entertained with a concept called tiddytainment, which aims at keeping the 80% of frustrated citizens happy with a mixture of deadeningly predictable, lowest common denominator entertainment for the soul and nourishment for the body. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Contents. The book deals mainly with the effects of globalization. It describes a growing social divide as a result of delimitation of the economy and a loss of political control by the state over the economic development, which is increasingly controlled by global corporations. The authors warn of a so-called 20 to 80 society. They describe how a global 80 to 20 distribution already exists in many aspects, and illustrate possible economic, social and political consequences of free trade and deregulated financial markets. In the beginning, they describe how at a conference at the invitation of Mikhail Gorbachev with 500 leading politicians, business leaders and academics from all continents from September 27 to October 1, 1995 at the Fairmont Hotel in San Francisco, the term, one-fifth society, arose. The authors describe an increase in productivity caused by the decrease in the amount of work, so this could be done by one-fifth of the global labor force and leave four-fifths of the working age people out of work. The authors predict huge number of unemployed, perhaps finding themselves in low-paid voluntary community services to boost their morale. See also Criticisms of globalization Technopoly, the surrender of culture to technology The future and its enemies Bread and circuses <laughs>